I really like these Gates Power Grip heat shrink hose clamps. The only problem is, how do you heat them when you are in a confined area like this? I want to get heat, preferably, you know, 360 degrees. Obviously, in some applications, you won't be able to get that. From what I read online, they said as long as you get heat on about two thirds of the clamp, it should shrink enough to uh, to work right. But I always like to be able to get 360 degrees. And all the other YouTube videos, they were mainly doing this uh, on a vise outside the car. Well, that's not practical when you got hoses like like this, uh, or my lower radiator hose. You know, it's hard to get to. Um, so, what I did is Milwaukee sells this adapter to go from your generic heat gun down to a 3 ace um, I think that's 3 ace outside diameter I'll measure that but I'll get you the part numbers here we got this stainless steel flex hose and I cut the end off of it and bent it um, but this will hold its shape uh, you know it's, it's rigid but flexible at the same time and so there's your Milwaukee reducer that goes down to 3 ace there's the part number and then over here, this is the stainless steel hose, flex hose. I think it's made for like uh, kitchen equipment, Vulcan heart. There's the part number for that. And then over here, also got a longer one if I ever need it. Um, there's the part number for that made by the same company. I will say this thing gets extremely hot, of course. I tried to put some of this um, fiberglass wire loom on there to that way I could hold it with a welding glove and it wouldn't burn me but this stuff actually got so hot it was starting to smoke and even with this on there um, it was still getting pretty hot with my welding gloves when I'm using this thing with welding gloves I can adjust it without turning the heat gun off but I, I, I gotta be quick because uh, you see smoke starting to come off the the welding gloves this thing gets gets very hot but you don't have to adjust it much and uh, once it is adjusted it holds the shape real well it has a very good fit onto this 3 ace you know I can shake the gun all around and it's not going to come off of there so I'm going to go ahead and measure that for you give you some dimensions so here's all the measurements you have the OD and ID of the adapter outlet and then you have the short flex hose the one I was showing you earlier OD and ID and then the long flex hose measurements I'm not even sure if I'm ever going to use the long flex hose I mean this thing is uh, very long and, you know, it's just as flexible as the other one made by the same company, but I mean Over the length of that you're gonna have uh, quite a bit of heat drop. So I mean, I'm sure it'll probably still be enough heat at the end uh, But I just don't know of any applications that I wouldn't be able to get to with uh, with this one right here okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you using it on this 5 ace uh, clamp here um, What I want to do is warm this thing up fully before actually trying to shrink the clamp because if not um, this thing's going to take a little while to get heated up and I'm just going to be putting uh, more heat into the hose and all my surrounding components so I want to get maximum heat and then apply it so I can get it shrunk as fast as possible without causing any damage to any components that are around the, uh, the clamp so it takes a little bit of while to get warmed up being that that whole tube's got to heat up Okay, it feels pretty good now. See, with this, I can easily get back in there on the back side and direct heat away from that valve cover gasket instead of directing it towards it. I don't know if you see, but it is, uh, it's already shrunk up back there real nice. Really hard to do while you're videotaping at the same time. Now, ideally, I would not have it bent so tight for that, but it's all good. I think that's pretty good. 
Now one thing I will say, I've never had one of these things leak. They work very well because they get a 360 degree uniform wide uh, clamping area. And I've even used them in applications um, where they weren't, you know, these things are only meant or gates only want you to use them on on coolant hoses but on my dad's uh, old hot rod he had an automatic transmission cooler that he wanted to put in and instead of running uh, what i would have ran which would have been an braided hose he bought a cooler that just uh, had a fitting already built in that was non non-serviceable uh, you know it was molded in there it was just a three ace uh, tube sticking out that had uh, had a very small lip it wasn't even barbed and uh, but he still wanted to run the an braided hose and just slip the braided hose over that uh, nipple and then put one of these heat shrink hose clamps on there well actually i'm the one who suggested the heat shrink hose clamp he was just gonna use a normal hose clamp like now nah, we need to make it look good and um i i wasn't sure if it was actually going to hold because it's going around the actual stainless braided wire um so I didn't, you know, it's going to take a lot of force to be able to compress that stainless wire enough to get a good seal on the hose on the inside, especially when you're talking about a transmission cooler. We're talking lots of uh, pressure and, uh, you know, fluid going through there. But it it's uh, never leaked a drop. It held very well. Um, I also will say that on some of these hoses, depending on the actual size, because um, on, on some hose sizes, the clamp will fit pretty loose on here before you actually tighten it down so when you do tighten it down sometimes you can actually still rotate the hose on the fitting this one you can't because i've actually got the uh the heat shrink part over the bead on the radiator nipple so like that's that's very tight sometimes though if it doesn't have a bead and it's just flat you'll shrink it down and you'll still be able to rotate the hose um, but don't worry, like it's it's not gonna gonna leak. It takes quite a bit of force to rotate the hose. If you were to use a normal worm drive hose clamp, yeah, you won't be able to rotate the hose, but it will not seal as well because it doesn't have that 360 degree uniform seal. It'll be real tight where the worm gear is, but then it won't be uh, tight right next to the worm gear. It'll have uh, points where it doesn't really have any uh, much pressure at all. So these things are definitely a way to go if you don't want anything to ever leak.